Hey guys, so thanks for joining. In the previous videos, we did a couple of API calls to Meraki on Postman, uh, which are here. So we did get the org ID, get the networks, create a new, uh, create a new network, uh, get the list of VLANs, create a VLAN, uh, update the, the list of VLANs, and we did a, get the firewall rules, and we updated the firewall rule. And it's missing. Anyway, we'll, we'll fix it. So in this uh, sections, we're gonna take those. Uh, uh, API calls that we did, and we're gonna create a Python script with them, okay? So as I said, we're gonna get the list of networks that are available. So we go to Postman, we did this API key, which is the get networks. What's nice about Postman is that you could actually get the code from here. So here you have other languages if you want. JavaScript, blah blah blah. I use Python, which is most of network automation libraries that exist in Python. So you need to we need to do it we need to tweak it a little bit so I'm not gonna run it this way like we could run it directly this way but we need to we need to make it look nice as you can see here in the output so we did get the list of bran um, branches I like to put everything in a function so here And uh, also highly recommend putting this, not putting the, your key in the code. So that's definitely a big no-no. And the way we could do it actually is like uh, header equal to, we could put it globally here. So we don't have to put it in all the functions. And we could do headers. Okay. And, uh, And here I want to check if the response, so there's a, you could check if the response is okay, so like there's no problem with it. I want to return the value in dictionary format, so response.json, this will return the value in a dictionary format. And also I want to do like print that uh, this uh, function ha ha has run correctly. Just when I'm, uh, I'm looking at the code being run, it's nice to see, uh, to understand what's happening. And here I want to say if it didn't, uh, if this didn't work properly, print response and print response.txt. And also I want the script to crack, to stop. Like I want to raise an error. All right, so this will stop the whole script. All right, and uh, I'm going to create also a function called uh, pprint. Just um, it's a pretty print. Okay, so here the header, I should specify that I'm getting it from the global variable, just or I need to feed it from uh, to the function there. Anyway, I did it this way. So you could see we got all the, the sites that we have. Um, I want to do some tweaking, just... Uh, so this is the list of networks, and what I want to do is, so I want to get the number of sites, as I said, So let's list, list of networks. So it's gonna be I in um, Okay. If 
So yeah, I'm specifying, I'm checking if the name has NetPip in it. So to put it in the list, because maybe you created a site manually. So uh, just, uh, you could do it actually also. We could like introduce the IP address uh, library and uh, it could be much more complicated because we'll have to get all the available subnets and like check what other subnets is being used and so on and so on. But I'm making it easy, like this is a course about uh, Meraki API, not uh, the IP address uh, library. Alright, so here let's do... So I'm gonna name it list of net repair networks. And this will be different. Let's check if this is correct. And then we need num of sites equal to length of Okay, and let's do print no. Alright, let's test this. Perfect, we got two and we could see that we have let me pair VR5 and let me pair VR1. Alright guys, I'm gonna stop here. In the next video we're gonna go over cloning the site. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining. Please like and subscribe, that would be really helpful. And uh, see you.